Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and to today's video where I'm here at Thor Park for the opening of their brand new ghost train. Check out my recent video, we looked into some of what we already knew, but today is the day that it opens. So come with me as we check out this new indoor kind of dark ride experience. So Ghost Train was meant to open at 12, but it's been delayed till 2 and they've been giving out tickets. It's about almost 1 o'clock now um, and we're number 63 in the queue. So it's such a shame really, but um, yeah, it's a shame it's not opening in time, but we will be getting on it hopefully today at 2 o'clock. So it's almost time for the Ghost Train. Are you guys all excited? Yes! Yeah. Yeah, you've got your drinks. What have you got? What have you got? Uh, it's a Mardi Gras Raz. What have you got? I've got a Hurricane. And what have you got? Yeah, I've got the same as him, but without alcohol. There we go. So I've had mine. Might be going for round two soon. I think that's probably a yes. But we're heading now to try the ghost train all over again. If you want to see the Mardi Gras vlog, definitely check out the video after this coming soon. On behalf of Fork Rail, we would like to apologise for the late running of this train. This is due to demons. Oh. I'll now hand you over to Hello everybody, um, my name is Ruth Story, I'm the marketing director here and I do apologise and thank you so much for all of your patience. Um, this is Kieran Smith, he is the writer and show director of our new Ghost Train. And we are absolutely thrilled to have you all here, thank you very much for coming. Um, this is, you are going to be the first public guest to ride this season's most exciting new addition to the park. So this next generation of Ghost Train has been a really long time in the making and we are delighted to finally be able to open it up to all the, um, to all the guests standing here today. And you're going to be the first batch of unsuspecting guests that are going to get on board. Now there have been rumours that our Ghost Train was created in the fiery pits of hell. I'm here to tell you that that rumour is true. Our ghost train was dragged kicking and screaming into the world by a small army of demons. Demons who walk amongst us. Demons who portray themselves as creatives, directors, designers, programmers, themers, technicians, painters, operators and most dangerous of all, actors. <laughs> These demons have worked tirelessly to create something horrific, yet beautiful. The hammers of hell have pounded day and night to create a world-class attraction that combines a gripping story, actors, special effects, and of course, a train. Making it one of the longest ride experiences in the UK. So to all those demons who helped create our ghost train, we say thank you. Thank you very much. And don't worry, sleep will come. So we are sure that you are all dying to see what lies beneath the realms of Fort Park. So enjoy your day here with us and we can't wait to hear what you think about the new ride experience. Now the time has come for a question. Would you like to go on that ride over there, or would you like to take the last train? Take the last train! I'll ask again. Would you want to go that ride over there, or take the last train? Take the last train! There is our answer, Ruth. They're taking the last train. Thank you very much. So without any further ado, we can get this train on the track. So I would like to invite Graham here, who has been patiently waiting since first thing this morning, as I know many of you have been, and he will officially open the ride for us. Some of the first people in experience it. It's exciting, isn't it? So, here we go. Two hours later, we are 
in the cattle pen, ready to get on. Go Shen! Um, ready to get in to experience the indoor dark, dark long ride that's going on, UK's longest. This is so exciting. Um, so it used to be Darren Brown, then closed for a while, and now we're getting back in and on it. Here we go again. So many Easter eggs in this queue line, Canada Creek. So awesome to see all these posters. Loggers Leap. Oh, it's amazing. Here we go. Will we make it out alive? Who knows? Oh, definitely. Some Easter eggs here. How awesome. Check out these posters. Thank you. Here we go then. Ghost train, we are so ready. So, heading into the ghost train, I will tell you about my experience after. So, let's talk about the ghost train. Spoilers are going to be from here on onwards. I'll put a timestamp from where they end for about the indoor section. But basically, we were the first public group uh, batched in for today. So you head in to um, the room, just like Darren Brown when he spoke. They've still got that hologram effect. Um, but it's someone, I can't remember his name, but I'm pretty sure it translated to the Angel of Death. Basically talks about how these people had a seance and all that jazz. I'm just giving a brief overview because I don't want to spoil it too much. And then you head on into the train room. The train is completely rethemed. It's all blues. There's no mirror effect anymore. There's some awesome train tracks on the bottom, blue lighting, smoke. It's so cool. You head onto the train, they give you a bit of a backstory. The actors are amazing in there. There's two of them. You get off, you go through like a type of mazy bit, and there's all skulls on the wall. It's so incredibly themed. It's about the sails. So sorry about that. I was cut off. I was talking to a cast member who was actually to the part I'm going to tell you about one of the monks in the scene. So you head through into um, the place where they kind of did the seance, which is all underground. Um, and there's two actors in there, and these monks are behind, and you think they're statues, and they're actually not. And there are these awesome statues that move, and it all it, it's amazing. The smell pods are insane, and the effects and the smoke all cool, like a ghost goes over the top of you. It's awesome. I'm not going to, like I said, go into depth about the whole storyline, just key bits I found really interesting. And that scene was my favourite. Then you head back onto the train, and, you know, it develops the, like, the, tra uh, the train conductor people. They're going a bit insane. They're getting possessed their souls are being taken and then like these two nuns appear it's so crazy i thought i was part of the conjuring but it was so awesome and then you end and there's an end scene like darren brown but it's so awesome for me like i thoroughly enjoyed that ghost train definitely think it's such an improvement to the part the theming is so much better i definitely think the actors really make it it's a 10 out of 10 for me and i definitely say get to it if you can and do it, it opens at 12 o'clock every day no virtual queuing it's just a normal queue like a normal ride so i am currently on the floor the but going for a second ride on the ghost off. train so i'm very excited passengers will not touch you failure to adhere to these immersive experience and it is not recommended for children under the age of 13 and may not be suitable for those so i need to find some shade to record this it's so bright but um yeah second run for it was good it was different there were different actors um the train and the end scene was slightly different um it wasn't the same like the nuns weren't running through i was able to see that ghost fly over the top this time and i was in front of that scene it was really good all in all again yeah it was just very different to that first one through i definitely preferred the first run but the actors again were brilliant like it was just so good next to it is the last call cafe and shop so we'll take a little little nosy nose in here so it's the cafe I haven't been in here yet but yeah here we go in the shop as well let's have a look at some of the stuff <laughs>
it's not missing now. Not missing. There's a lot. Oh, but yeah, just well, that's it then for today in this ghost train video. I've really had a great time. I got to experience it twice, which I feel quite lucky to, as it's now like a 75 minute queue and it was at 1.50 earlier. Um, I really enjoyed it. I'd recommend doing it. We kind of had like two different storylines, um, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. And like I said, if you can get to Thought Park and do it, definitely do it. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please make sure to subscribe. We're getting close to 800 subscribers. Um, and make sure to comment and like. Have you done the ghost train yet? Let me know in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.